so get ready with me for my christian date with my boyfriend um and we also just wanted to hang out with his little sister for her birthday and look at my suitcase my little suitcase makeup bag that my grandmother got me shout outs to her it was a mess so I also have my on-the-go little tooth brush with floss, which I absolutely love. It has toothpaste in it. You do not want to walk around with stink breath. So take care of your hygiene. Link is in my bio. Now, y'all, I have been using this eyebrow pencil for years. Literally, I think for about a decade. This is the Milani eyebrow brush, I believe in dark brown. This is the only thing I use. I get it from CVS. It's like $11, but it's so worth it. So, so worth it. I love it. You can also get this bomb eyebrow pencil um, in my description. The link will be there. And this is my NYX concealer. I don't put it under my eyes anymore. I just put it under my eyebrows because the color right now just doesn't match me. I got a tan, so, you know, I just want to make it look right. And I'm just making that a base for my eyeshadow. So random fact, but I did inject my lips in my basement like two years ago. So this is me just massaging the lip filler in since it's still in my lips, unfortunately. Now, let me tell y'all, I've had so many eyeshadow kits in my life, but this one, Mad for Matte by e.l.f., will always be one of my favorites. I've had it for like four or five years. The colors work so well for my skin tone, and yeah, I can bring it anywhere I go. vulnerable moment i have struggled with such bad acne in the past like one and a half years that's a whole other story time that i'll do so much stress and just toxic environments but um the sephora girlies did tell me that this is a good foundation for acne prone skin which i don't speak over my life anymore but just to be wise about those decisions i use nars now um, and it's dope. I love how it looks on my face. But for all of y'all who have had acne or just want to, you know, use better products for your face, comment below what you think of NARS and any other foundation that works for your skin. Please let me know because I'm always down to try something new. I want to help make your makeup flawless. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. The first one is do not put the foundation under your eyes. I'm going to tell you why. Like it just makes it look very gray when you put concealer over it depending on which foundation but for me um i just don't put it under my eyes no matter what foundation and i just you know do the dabbing technique with my little sponge but i do not put foundation under my eyes i keep that part completely just skin until i need to put my little concealer under there period and also it just looks too cakey because i use two concealers under my eyes so using a foundation and then two concealers just doesn't look right i'll never forget when i was doing a music video for this big rapper and the makeup artist um she looked at my under eyes and she was like girl you need better concealer because the concealer i was using was not it so she put this under my eyes this is kevin aquan um and i was like yo this looks way better like i look fresh like i look like i you know woke up from a great sleep so I use this, but since I'm not that dark, um, I like my tan's going away. I just put a little bit on the dark marks, a little bit under my eyes. And then after that, I use another Kevin Aquan concealer, which you'll see in a little bit, um, just to like, you know, fit my skin tone a little better so that I don't look orange on my face. It's so weird too because it's like growing up I never really struggled with acne especially in my like adult years so having to cover up the acne marks could it, it used to be very annoying but now I'm just so grateful that my skin is coming under control. I don't know if you guys have ever struggled with that either but you know going from like 
completely flawless skin that you didn't know you had because I was insecure so I didn't peep that I had dope skin and then breaking out all over your face um and trying to cover every mark it's a lot but I just thank God that I'm finally being like have I finally have the ability to you know only cover a few marks so here I use my yellow concealer and I put it you know in those little areas because if you put too much of this stuff you are going to look crazy listen to me you will look like a clown so not too much sis not too much just enough to the fact where you can't be happy in life you can't go out right because that's what it did to me it did cripple me so i would just say while you're praying while you're trusting that you will be healed from this you know accept that you will look forward to that day and also enjoy the way that you can you know look your best in the meantime whether it's your style whether it's a certain lip gloss whatever it is that's what helped me so I put on my Laura Geller um, powder, then I put my MAC over it just to make it look good, um, just look better. Like, I don't want it to look too powdery, and I feel like my MAC powder, weirdly enough, helps with that. So yeah, that's what I do. My mom kept coming in and out of the bathroom to try to get me to try different makeup products, so listen to her. Beautiful. One, one, thank you. No, no, no. I mean, one to use it. One thank to use you it, so I promise. Much. No, she one said, to use it. No, one to use it. One to use it. Oh my it. gosh. So we're going to use, let's try this. If you're under eyes and see how it looks, I don't know. That looks dope. If I catch you in my room, if I catch you in my room, if I catch you in my room. What about this? That's another thing to um to bake it, but mm, let me see. Let me just nah. I'm not looking like a casket. Thank you though. <laughs> That's crazy. Now let me tell you, contouring was the hardest thing for me to get right in makeup, but I think I'm finally getting it. I put it under my lips to make it look a little luscious, <laughs> a little luscious, a little thick, a little full. <laughs> and then I also like put a little bit um, by my nose. I put it under my cheekbones. I do not touch my forehead only because this, con this um, what's it called, bronzer just doesn't work for my forehead. It just looks crazy. So I just don't put it there. Now let me tell you how Rihanna's Fenty products have me in a chokehold. A chokehold. <laughs> I love all of her products. Like, I don't think there's anything that I don't like. Foundation I have from her is also better for me in the winter. Like, right now I have a tan, so I'm gonna look like a ghost. Um, but I love her highlighters her whatever's called diamond bomb thing thing like i just love shimmer and that's what it's giving every time i use these highlighters i just get so hype i just get so hype yeah anyways that's nice i want to try that next time i already did my eyeshadow you, you did don't do that because you, you know i promise this is what i, I did last time and you loved it i cannot see in here because it's dark. oh okay but i think that you should i'm not no. So that's the thing. I'm not. Look, just listen to mom. No. I'm just telling you something. I just want you to listen. Look. But like the, yeah, let me see. Mm. Mama. She got so oh, happy. I can't believe she got this for me, y'all. Yo, my mom. That is a lie. Best, that's a lie. Oh, and they even tell you where. They say, look, crease, outer corner, line, shimmer. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Throw that down and I'll punch you. Wait, so I, I it tells you how it. to do it? Yeah, it tells you like where to put one. Inner corner for here. 
Base, that's dope. I like how they did that. I really like how they did I that. I like Laura Geller. Grandma used to always yeah. use it. Grandma used to get that from you. So? Sorry, right, thanks. That's what I'm getting. I think You're not going to see it. All right, whatever. I'm telling you, you will see it. Well, I wouldn't do it there, but that's what you're doing. You said a line in the crease. This is nice, but I would have did it under my eye, that's what I'm saying. You can still do it under your eye. Because it's like you can't really see it much. It's not giving? It's not giving. Now I look, just look dumb because it's well, you shimmer. Don't. I promise, you don't. It's too many colors going on. No, it doesn't. Mom, you wear 30 colors at once. It's different for you. Your mama. One of my favorite parts of makeup will always be the lips. Always. I love playing with different lip liners, different colors, even though I usually do something similar all the time. But I am coming out of my comfort zone. So I love MAC lip liners. I will always love MAC lip liners. MAC, if you see this, I love you. Please, like, we need to work together in the future. But this is Cork um, by MAC, which I use chestnut a lot, but I'm realizing that Cork can be just as dark without being too much. So Cork was the look for this night for sure. It's so crazy how I used to hate my hair growing up because I got bullied for it so much. And now I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so this was just me fluffing it out. It was kind of messy, so I wanted to make it neat. And I'm actually going to do a little like lock video for y'all soon enough. Um, but this is just me fixing my edges because they were looking a little messy. So I just wanted to make it look a little neater. So I used my little toothbrush. I used my Nairobi first to wet it. Um, and then I use, um, just an edge, edge gel or whatever to just gel it down. I don't use edge gel all the time because from what I know, it can definitely thin the hair. So I only use it on certain occasions. Um, but yeah, this is just what I do. So here's the thing about my locks they get messy in two days or less i can get them done today by tomorrow they're already gonna get a little messy and so within a week of me doing my hair it gets messy so usually if i'm going out i just try to retwist a few of them just to look good um and that's just what i did here
Now, I'm a millennial, so don't come for me. I tried my little transition video. I think it was kind of cute for my first time, you know? Bam, look at me, look at me, look at me. Like, I'm in my little fall outfit, all black. I looked really cute. I don't care. I liked my outfit. It was simple, honestly. Like, I love a good dress. Simple dress, you just throw it on with my leather jacket that my little sister actually gave me. Shout out to her. And here I am putting on my YSL perfume. Um, I really love this perfume. I, it's a good date night perfume. It's a good night perfume in general i wouldn't really wear this in the day and perfume is literally one of my favorite things in the world like you want to buy me one you want to get me one as a gift go on ahead just make sure it's from my list because i'm very picky as well so ask me for my list of perfumes which i have like 200 of them on there and you choose one all right so here we are we're going going back back to brooklyn uh, we went on a little date night like I said, we went to hang out with his little sister first. Um, she did like karaoke and stuff. I actually left my phone home. So this footage is from his phone. Shout out to my man, my man, my man. Um, and we went out to eat at like midnight. So I'm not gonna lie, the food was like a five out of 10. Like I, we were just really hungry, but that was one of the only spots open. We were looking for so many different spots and everything was closed. But, you know, I was full, so that was good. And we really enjoyed ourselves for the fact that I left my phone home and it didn't even like I didn't even remember that I did. I just enjoyed myself. I enjoyed my man's presence. It all went so well. Of course, we talked about God. Um, we always speak about God. Like there's not one day that goes by that we don't speak about Jesus, the Bible, evangelizing and we look so cute like oh my gosh we look amazing like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell